trying to shut us up and they want to destroy that film. We can't let them have this. You're right about that. What? Come on, it's time to get ready. Come on. Come here. Come here. We have to go. What we do means a lot to your dad. Okay. Okay? You get dressed. Sorry, Andy. Antrex has to stay home. Oh, Dad. Oh, nothing. You know he throws up in the car every time we go anywhere. 
I'm sorry, boy. It's not my idea. He'll be fine. You want to tell the kid's going to feed him and look after him while we're away. Come on, Andrew. Come on, boy. Come on, little man. Let's go. Okay, seatbelt. Seatbelt. Someday you'll thank me for this, Andy. Spare me, Dad. So tell us about this place again. It's an old campsite. You know, Dad just told me I was Andy's age. It's a pretty hike, and the view up there, unbelievable. Oh, great. And you guys just stay in the van. You know, watch it so no one steals it. No, this is still the van, Andy. We're in the middle of nowhere. I noticed. folks doing in these parts? I go on hiking up at uh, Painted Mountain. I thought I'd show my family the best sunset in the world. Maybe even camp out in the van, you know. Rough it a bit. I expect that'd be a bad idea. It's dangerous up there. Oh, it isn't dangerous. I used to go up there all the time with my dad. Well, things change. Bad things happen. What, like, uh, snakes? No snakes. Bad things, strange things happen. Snakes back there. Lucky for you, kid. <laughs> Quick in the van. Uh, $17. Flat. Uh -uh. Thank you. Listen, take my advice. Take your family on back down to Vegas. Take your wife and get to a show. <laughs> They'll like it. Hey, thanks for the advice. Hey, you know, it's not like the movies. They got it all wrong. Thank you, Dad. Everybody look. Painted mountain. Ooh. <laughs> okay, and we're going to climb to the top of there. Well, you and Andy are, yeah. Oh, just... <laughs> yeah, you right, know? Dad. God. Good idea. Oh, honey, I'm fine. Oh, yeah, the exercise will, exercise will do me good. Oh. If it doesn't kill you. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Dad, you were right. I've never seen you sweat so much in my life. Come on, we're almost at the top. You're gonna thank me for this someday. Want to bet? Come on, pull your dad. Whoa! Well, pull your dad. Oh. 
See? stuff all the time. Yeah, but you're not telling me you want to turn out like him, are you? You better think about that one a while. <laughs> Has it been a while? <laughs> Bad answer. Here. God, look at all the stars you can see out here. Yeah. Cool. Dad, what's beyond the stars? More stars. Yeah, but what's beyond that? More stars and even more stars. They go on forever. Forever? Yeah. Scary. Look, shooting star. Oh, quick, Andy, make a wish. What do you mean? When you see a shooting star, you're supposed to make a wish. Yeah, right. You are. If you close your eyes, you make a wish, maybe it'll come true. I wish we didn't have to sleep in the van tonight. Oh, good wish. <laughs> Why, you guys want to go back home? You got it. Yeah. All right, fine. We'll go back home. I, uh, but don't come crying to me when you wake up and you realize you're missing on something special. Mm, like a stiff neck. Coming back. Bob, get us out of here. Okay. It's going way up. Bob. What do you want, Ted? It's a minivan. Andy. Andy okay? Oh. Andy? Dad, I'm sleeping. Okay, go back to sleep. Bob, it's almost 2.30. We should have been home already. I guess I fell asleep. No, you didn't. No, you didn't fall asleep. You were 
I re there was this, there was this, this bright light, and then the, the, you wrecked the van, and what? It went in the ditch, and and there was the a light. What are you talking about? Don't you remember? I must have fallen asleep while I was driving and driven off the road, and then that truck woke us up. No, but that's not all. There was something else that. What? I think there. Was. I don't know. Aren't we there yet? Yeah, we're almost there. We'll talk about it later. I gotta go on the right side of the road. Can you drive me to school today? What? Can you drive me to school? Yeah, I got a lot to do today. Why don't you just take the bus? I hate the bus. She said no, Andy. No means no. Understand? Dad! I said no, Andy. Do you understand? Yeah. All right, get your books go to school. I don't want to hear you were late. for parent of the year, huh? What's that supposed to mean? Mm, nothing. Just didn't realize I was married to an asshole, that's all. I'm an asshole. For what? It's about time you stopped treating him like a baby. Mm. And I suppose that you were in the Marines when you were his age, right? No, I wasn't. But at least I didn't have Supermom wiping my ass every day. Yeah, well, who did it then? Your sister? Just because now you... Just shut up! Shut up! Something did happen to us, or we saw something. I think we should tell somebody. No. Des, if we just... No, we shouldn't. No. Look, I'm concerned about Andy, okay? I mean, can you imagine if we come out and say this? Well, we saw a flying saucer. I mean, what does it sound? It sounds crazy. People are going to think we're like these idiots that they read about in the tabloids. Des, if we just... Please, Bob, please just don't say anything. Please. I uh, looked for you earlier, but you weren't around. Oh, I was uh, at the library. Had to find some research material. Well, I just wanted to say, great job on those karaoke spots, man. Yeah, I uh, caught one last night on cable, and uh, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna get one of those puppies, you know? Impress the chicks. I'm a karaoke singing dude, uh, uh, you know? Uh, thanks, Harry. Hey, uh, listen, I saw the van downstairs. Did you get in a wreck or what? Ah, it's nothing. It's a full accident. Nothing. It's like you took out a whole trailer park. Just an accident, all right, Harry? What do you want, a damn memo? No, just, uh, just email me. Uh, Harry, I'm sorry. Harry. You know what? I was just worried. That's all. Harry, 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 Harry. I'm sorry. Look, I've been a major asshole home morning. I'm sorry. Come on. I love that shirt. Yeah? Go Gant. Who knew? 
So what have you been working on? I'm just trying to find an angle on the avocado campaign. You know, aliens from outer space. You know, they want uh, avocados, guacamole. Why would aliens like guacamole? To go with their chips and salsa and fancy club sandwiches. Chips and salsa. Oh, okay. Yeah, totally. I get it. That's great. Way to go, man. Hey, Bob, what's with all the books? I mean, come on, man. This is the 90s. You don't need to go to the library anymore. All the information you need is right here. Harry, I hate that computer. I've been using it as a coaster for the last few months. I never have enough room on my desk. You just need a lesson from Captain Internet. All right, so, what do you want to look up first? Avocados or UFOs? UFOs. Yeah, this is Bob. Hey, it's me. Is this a bad time? No, not at all. I, um, I just feel weird today. Tell me about it. Are you okay? Yeah, I just had a bitch of a nightmare. Yeah, what about? There was this blinding white light, and they, they took us away. I had the same dream last night. Only, only it wasn't like a dream. It was more like remembering something. But it is only a dream. Then why are we dreaming the same thing? Honey, I think we should tell somebody. I mean, I know you don't want to end up on a talk show, but I can't stand the thought of Andy having the same dreams. So what do we do? Well, why don't, why don't we start? What? Never mind. You know, I'm going to call the Air Force. You maybe we just got in the way of some top secret fighter test or something, you know? Probably. Can you come home early today? Sure, I can. Good, because I want to make up for this morning. Yeah, me too. What about Andy? Oh, he's got to stay at school. He's got this mandatory anti-drug program. He'll be there till after six. So the school system is finally doing something right. I'll see you around four, baby. Okay. Do I know you? Of course you do. I am Dr. Romance on a house call of love. Wow. What'd I do wrong? Hmm. I don't remember the last time you brought me flowers.
Hi. Hey, your bag goes in your room. Aren't you even going to say hi? Hi. Mm -hmm. Hmm? What's wrong with you? You look tired. You okay? I'm okay. Yeah? You hungry? I guess. Why don't you go start your homework? We're going to eat in half an hour, okay? Okay. Hey, Punk, how you doing? I don't think he's sleeping well. We should talk to him. Hello. Hello. Who is it? I don't know. I hung up. <clears throat> Can I help you with something? Mr. Wilson. Robert Wilson. Yes. And you are? Perkins. You called this afternoon. Oh, right, right. I, uh, I didn't expect you guys so soon. They said it would be at least a week before they could look into it. I apologize. They were misinformed. Well, come on in. Dad's here, the guys from the Air Force. They're here to talk about the other night. Oh, great. Here, have a seat. Oh. I'll close these curtains if it's too bright. We'll keep our glasses on. Can I get you something to drink? We'll have Coca-Colas, please. I'm sorry, he's uh, used to strangers. I'll take him out in the yard. Come on, come on, Amtrex, come on. We'll be right back. Come on, Amtrex. Quiet, come on. Amtrex, what's the matter with you? Amtrex, what are you doing? It's not like it with the IRS, you know. God. What do you think of our guests? Strange. But then what do you expect? They are civil servants. <laughs> oh, nice flowers. Ooh. From my lover. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. What exactly is he doing? Collecting information. Standard procedure. So, uh... Oh, where do we start? Please tell me about the night of the incident. Where did you view the object? Uh, it was out near Painted Mountain on Highway 95. And exactly what were you doing in that area? We had been hiking near an old campsite. I wanted the family to see the place. At what time did you view the object? Uh, it was late. Uh, 11 midnight, I guess. Yeah. Do you need a pen and some papers to take notes or something? No, that will not be necessary. Then what happened? Well, this sounds kind of crazy, but we... S I mean, it might have been a jet passing over, but I'm pretty sure it was a UFO. What were you doing out so late with your family? Didn't the safety of your child worry you? Well, there's nothing to worry about. I mean, we're only hiking. Do you go hiking often? I just told you that I think we saw a UFO. And you asked me how often I hike? Please answer the question. Just answer him, Bob. No, I do not go hiking often. It was a three-day weekend, and I took the extra time to go out there. Please describe what you saw. I'm not sure exactly. In the distance, it seemed to be one big mass, a, uh, a ball of light. It was flying really fast right towards us. I thought for a second that it might just be just a plane passing over, but it seemed to be aiming right at us. As it got closer, it seemed flatter a big circular light, 
encircled by a stream of smaller lights. Then it chased us. <clears throat> I, uh, I tried to get away, but I got stuck on the side of the road. That's all I remember. The next thing I know, it was uh, three hours later, and I wake up with my face in the steering wheel. What about your recollection, Mrs. Wilson? It's, it's the same, except I remember the sound. The sound was, um, it was like a roar. It was like a high-pitched, deafening sound. And, and then Bob woke me up. Is there any physical evidence from your encounter? Like what? Anything. Strange cuts or bruises on any of you. Burns from the light, a picture, or perhaps some remnant from the unidentified object. Well, there's skid marks all over Highway 95, and, uh, I broke a headlight. Besides that, I can't think of anything physical. And you, Mrs. Wilson? No, nothing. Has the sexual activity between you increased or decreased since the incident? <laughs> I don't think that's any of your business. Has your son ever walked in on you in the middle of sexual intercourse? I don't think our sex life has anything to do with this investigation. Is there anything else appropriate that you'd like to ask about? Mom? Oh, baby. Your son. I want to speak to him alone. No. What does he recollect from that evening? Oh, he says he doesn't remember anything. I would like to speak with him. We're not bringing him into this. He might have important information. No, absolutely not. Is he the child of both you and your husband? Yes. What the hell has that got to do with anything? Every detail is important. Answer the question. No, that's it. This interview's over. Mr. Wilson. I don't want to hear it. Get out now. I'm sorry you feel that way about our investigation, Mr. Wilson. Yeah, well, I'm uh... Mr. Wilson. I feel what you and your family experienced the other evening was probably nothing more than nighttime maneuvers by test plates. However, I feel, and I'm sure you will agree, that it is your duty as an American citizen to keep this issue quiet and to yourselves. I advise you, tell no one else about this incident. Who are you anyway? Goodbye, Mr. Wilson. Happy Halloween. Woo! You okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I don't know. They're really weird, you know? I mean, I mean, they acted official and everything, but I could tell they were lying. Did they threaten you or your family in any way? Well, they said not to... No, not really. Oh. Was there any damage done to your property? No, but that's not the point. As far as I can tell, Mr. Wilson, no crime was committed. There's not enough here to even file a report on I can't believe this. They were impersonating federal officials. Try to see this my way. I get 20 cops a shift. I got gangbangers dealing drugs in elementary schools. I got cars being stolen, houses being broken into, accidents happening. So? So? You want me to pull half my force to investigate a couple of strange men that you let in your house, ask you some funny questions, and then left when you asked them to? I don't have time for this crap. This is not crap. They were in my house. And you let them in. Look, those guys probably forgot to check in with their secretary or something. That's why the base doesn't have any knowledge of their visit. Now, please, I have work to do.
Chi è? What do you mean there's no Perkins there? He was in my house yesterday, along with his freaky lieutenant. No, I don't know what rank they were. They weren't wearing uniforms. No, they were wearing dark suits. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, you tell your captain to get off his ass and do something about this. Well, you could bet I will call the cops. Yeah, and I'll write my congressman while I'm at it. Hey. I just tried calling the Air Force. Oh, any luck? No, same old bureaucratic runaround. Now what? I don't know, Don. Look, I'm gonna knock off early today and I'll pick up Andy, okay? And then tonight, can we will sit down and try to figure something out. Okay. Come soon. Okay. Mwah. Bye. Bob, chauffeur called. They're not so sure about this. I'm gonna take idea. the rest of the afternoon off. My kid is sick. I'll take messages. Okay, it's okay. Calm down. No. Calm down. It's okay. okay. What did that man want, huh? He just asked a bunch of questions. Yeah, what kind of questions? He asked if I talked to anyone about what we saw out in the desert. And what are you telling? Uh, I said I wasn't supposed to talk to strangers and that he didn't talk to you. Well, good. <laughs> and he said I wasn't supposed to say anything about it ever. Or <laughs> what? Or what? Huh? I'll never get to see you and Bob again. Dad, I'm scared. Don't be scared. Nothing's going to happen to us. Not from that hall. Come on, stop. Let's go home. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. I have my bag. Okay, where is it? Where is it? It's right there. Come on. Let's go. Come on. You're gonna thank me for this someday.
Damn it. My wife is not crazy, and neither am I. Look. Now, no, you look. I told you these men were dangerous. You didn't believe me. Now, look All what happened. All right already. I'll take a report. I'll have an extra patrol car sent to your neighborhood tonight. I'll have one sent by the school tomorrow morning. I will even put a call out to Edwards myself to try and find out what department these guys are from. You satisfied? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Now, one more time for the record, what do they look like? Okay, well, they all had on uh, identical get-ups, you know, uh, black suits, hats, sunglasses. Uh, they had really pale skin, almost white. What about their hair? Uh, short, military style. And the car? Black. Four-door sedans. You didn't happen to get a license number or something? No, I didn't think to look that far ahead. Sorry. That's all right. We'll keep an eye out for it anyway. Now, what prompted the first visit? Well, we called the Air Force Base to report a sighting. They said they're going to send someone out to investigate, and we assumed that's who they were. A sighting? Mm-hmm. What kind of sighting? Well, we don't know exactly. I mean, that's what we called. It could have been a jet, but it, it looked more really like a, like a big... Here, I'm gonna go inside and get that smart ass and have her come out here and arrest this spook. If he gets out of the car, you run inside, okay? Okay? Okay. This better be good. Police! Get out of the car now! Let me see your hands! guns down. What's the matter with you guys? They have a tape. Find it.
back there. This must be the child's room. Sounded like an idiot. Well, yeah, what else is new? They want the tape. What are you talking about? It's from the camping trip. What are you talking about? Wow, the camera must have turned on when they were chasing us. Everything is on this stupid tape. Why didn't you tell me that before, I dog? tried to. I, I, I just found it, and they they came, and they were... So it really did happen. Huh? Okay, we got to show it to someone. Like who? The police? Yeah, right. Those books have been reading on UFOs. Yeah. Well, most of them are by a guy named Stan Mills. He runs a resource center for people like us. Why can we trust him? I don't know. His books say that uh, he's got a Harvard degree. He was in the Air Force for like 20 years. Dad's, I don't know what else to do. What do you say? I give it a shot? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Stan Mills? I got your number at one of your books. I need your help. What's the problem? Okay. My family and I saw something odd in the sky about a week ago. When we reported it, we were threatened by these suspicious guys who were government agents. So call the cops. We did. They think we're nuts. And our house has been trashed, and these guys are threatening to kill us. Why would they do that? Well, I guess because we got the whole event on videotape. You got the UFO encounter on videotape? Yes. What do these agents look like? Weird. You know, black suits, black hats, sunglasses. They were really strange. Look, my family's freaking out. I'm trying to hold things down, but I need your help. All right, first things first. Don't go to your house. I don't care if you left Grandma behind. Forget about her, understand? Yes. Who are they? Mm. Did you charge this call? Yeah, to my calling card. 
You better get moving, because they can trace you through any electronic transaction. What's your name and address? Bob Wilson, 1693 McCadden Drive, Granada Hills. Okay, Bob, take Highway 5 North, get off at Sierra Highway, go for another half an hour, then stop and call me from another payphone, and call Collect. I'll give you more directions then. Okay, thanks. Yeah, don't thank me now. And listen, make sure that you're not followed by a black car. Now get the hell out of there. Okay. He says he can help us. Really? I don't care who he is as long as he's wearing his sunglasses. Dad, what's happening? Fuck a lot. Oh my god. What? Stan was right. That's the call. This is not a coincidence. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. from the halfway house cafe too far yeah okay yeah all right i'm gonna turn left left right okay i'm on my way bye I don't know about this, Bob. I don't either, Dad. Talk to Andy. Wilson? Jesus. Did you have to do that? You sure you weren't followed? I did everything you said. There was nobody behind us. Good. Stan Mills. Bob Wilson. My wife does. Hi. You always this paranoid? It isn't paranoia when they really are out to get you. 
Come on in. Uh, all right, sons are sleeping. Come on. Bedroom right through that door. Are we safe here? Well, I've got alarm systems, security fences that are electrified, a lead lined house to block pesky alien tracking devices, all the comforts of a conspiracy nuts house. So, yes, I'd say you're safe. Here, I'll even lock the door. Thanks. Mom? Yeah. Come are you okay? Uh, what have I you want? got that tape? Uh, honey, the tape. Oh. What I wanted to tell you is I haven't seen this yet. Dad's just found it this afternoon. You haven't? No. Well, we'll just consider this the world premiere. in the dream. No, honey, it's true. It, it really did happen. Oh, I thought it was just a nightmare. So did we, Andy. Have you been having that dream every night? Yeah, all the time. We have too, but listen, Stan's going to help us. He knows a lot about these people. Yeah, Andy, your mom's right. I know all about these guys. For 20 years, they're, they're tricky little devils. Come on, let's get you back. Will you stay with me? Yeah, of course I will. Hot damn, Bob. You're a bona fide grade A number one alien abductee with the Stan Mill seal of approval. What do you think of that? It was all real. It really happened. Sure looks that way. What the hell am I going to do? Let me tell you. Your life is completely changed now. So you got to be strong for your family. How'd you sleep? Uh, not very well. That was too bad. Hey, thanks for the spare room. Yeah. Uh, will bacon and eggs do you? Of course, I could feed this to the squirrels and make you some oatmeal and yogurt and uh, wheat germ and yucky things. Nah, no, this smells great. Flattery will get you everywhere. Yesterday, you said they could trace a call at the phone booth, and they did. Why couldn't they also trace a call here? Well, I've got my lines routed through enough subsystems and cells so that even if they trace the call, they think it's from somewhere else. Anywhere in particular? The Reagan estate in Bel Air. You know, you're nothing like I expected you to be from your books. Well, just because someone deals with UFOs doesn't mean they're a total wacko, necessarily. I mean, you're a perfect example. I'm learning. Mm, smells good. Good morning. Hi, babe. Good morning. Where's Andy? He's sleeping finally. Oh, you're a bad night. Yeah. He keeps having these nightmares. Oh, yeah? That's understandable. Nightmares are kind of common with this. You want to eat outside? Sure. 
anyone with more than a passing knowledge of UFOs has heard of the men in black. They're called MIB for short. So you mean other people have seen them? Hundreds, thousands. The first report of them goes back to 1949. Well, who the hell are they then? Well, that's the million dollar question. Nobody knows. There have been various theories over the years connecting them with everything from the FBI to Alcoholics Anonymous. Really? Yeah, some say that they're Air Force, some say they're CIA, some say they're from some super secret organization of the government that no one's ever heard of, or they're aliens trying to cover up for themselves. Or some say that they're neither human or alien, but they're some kind of crossbreed between the two, and they're trying to assimilate themselves into human society. Well, what do you think they are? I need more evidence before I make up my mind. You really believe this, don't you? Oh, yes, yes, I do. This is insane. I mean, there has to be some rational explanation for all of this. Well, you tried the cops, you tried the Air Force. They didn't help much, did they? Yeah, but that was before. Before what? Before you killed your dog and wrecked your house? Before your psychotic episode with the LAPD? That's not how it happened. You tell it to the jury, Bob. Who have you got for a witness? You've got your wife. And who's to say that either one of you will ever make it to the stand anyway? From what you tell me, these people are out to kill you. Well, do you believe us or not? There have been 20,000 sightings over the last 50 years. Of the 200 cases that, that I personally investigated, I'd have to say I believe yours the most. Because of the tape? Well, yes, and also a special set of circumstances. For me, it goes back 20 years when I was in military intelligence. I ran into a woman who had a situation very similar to yours. She had a UFO experience, and she managed to get some pictures, still pictures. She tried to go to the authorities, and immediately she was stalked by the MIB. They wanted to shut her up, and they wanted to get those pictures. Now, she felt the same way that you folks do. She wished that it had never happened. She wished that it would all just go away. How did it work out for her? Well, it didn't go away. I tried to, to help her get away from them, but they got to her. Well, if all they want is the tape, why don't we just give it to them? Well, unfortunately, I think it's too late. This thing has gone too far for them. They want to silence you, period. What can we do? You can't go back to your house. You can't go back to your former life. And for the time being, you can't contact any of your friends or relatives. And forget your credit cards. They'll trace you in a heartbeat. If you go to withdraw money from your bank, they'll be there in five minutes or less. How the hell are we supposed to live? Well, I'm going to help you. I have a group of teenage computer hackers that can run rings around the electronic part and they can give you new identities. Then I'm going to front you some money to get you started. This is not about money. This is our entire lives we're talking about. I mean, what about Andy? Is he supposed to spend the rest of his life being chased by boogeymen? Des, come on. He's trying to help us. I want an answer. I'll give you an answer. If you go back there, they're going to kill you all. And you'd be lucky if they ever find the bodies. They are that dangerous, and you are that paranoid. Why would you let us come to your house? I mean, we could be anybody. No, you couldn't. I checked you out. You're exactly what you say you are. Could, could we have a moment alone, please? Sure, no problem. Des? I cannot believe this is happening. But it is, and we have to deal with it. I believe this guy. You do. You do. Don't you, honey? I suppose. Let's lay low out here for a couple of days. Let him look into it. All right? All right. Thank you. 
Mom, they're gonna get us, Mom. Mom, they're gonna get us. It's gonna get us, Andy. We're gonna be fine. Okay. It's okay. And are you cold? Yeah, yeah, I'm freezing. You're freezing? Here, come on. Let's get you warm. Come here, baby. Come here. Shh. Baby, I love you. I love you, baby. It's gonna be fine. Shh. Calm down. Yeah, but, well, what's the problem exactly? Uh huh. Okay, give me your name and number, will you? All right. Now listen, I will get back to you on this, but it's going to take me a couple of days. All right. I don't think you have any problem. Okay. Well, Bob, I'll tell you what. If nothing else, you can sell this stuff to the networks and make a fortune. I think I'll but, pass. Bob. Yeah. Andy's not well at all. He needs to go to the doctor. Okay. Uh, well, no, 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 no. It wouldn't be a good idea to leave here. Not at all. They're watching for you. Yeah, but he's sick. I mean, he's got a fever and he's shivering. Stan, we have to do something. No, no, wait a second. You're all stressed out. You were up half the night. Give the boy a day or so to, to calm down and rest, and he'll be okay. I'm really worried about him. Honey, let's give it a little more time. If it gets any worse at all, we will get some help, okay? Fine. Honey. Hello? Yes. Tape checks out, 100%. No flaws, no signs of tampering. It's genuine. I knew it was. Gee, thanks. And? And, officially, anyway, you're clean. What does that mean, officially? Well, it means I checked out the local, state, and federal agencies, and you're not on any books. There's no one with a badge looking for you. What about the truck crash? It's listed just as a simple hit and run under investigation. There's no mention of a minivan. And the LAPD put down your visit just as a freakout due to domestic stress. Mm -hmm. No one's been out to your house, so they haven't discovered the mess there. And the Air Force didn't even bother to log your calls. Of course, they get a hundred crank calls a day anyway. Great. There may not be an APB out on you, but don't forget those bozos and the black hats are out to erase you. Yeah. Cigar? No, thanks. So what now? I've got a hacker who's trying to decrypt some data banks at the Pentagon and sack NORAD. Maybe we can sniff out some information on Wilson Robert A. Mm-hmm. What's that mean in English? It means I've got a friend who's digging deeper. What's that? That's your wife. She's leaving the compound. I'm not sure I like that point. Mm-hmm. It's just fine there. Well, it's a little high, but nothing serious. Okay, Scooter, let's see what's going on up there. Huh. No, 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 Andy. Andy, it's okay. Put your head back and don't move. What? Now, this is not going to hurt. Maybe just a little. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's done.
Thank you. Make sure he keeps his head back till that bleeding stops, all right? Wipe your nose, baby. Good to see you again, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Glad you can make it. I dare you, son of a bitch. Andy's nose. What was it? It was a crystal. A crystal? It's probably a tracking device. That's how they found you here. I'll go back in and find it. No, no, I wouldn't do that. We'd better get out of here before that friend show up. Come on, get in the car. Let's go. Hurry up. I don't think they can get through the electric fence. But just in case they do, we should have some sticks and stones to throw at them. Don't you think? Yeah. Come on. Andy, stay away from the window. Stay away from the window. Andy, Andy. Here, 12 gauge police special. Excellent for close encounters. How many shots do I get? Five. There's one in the chamber and four in the mag. Here's some extra shells. What's that? They're at the front gate.
two minutes to get up the driveway. Two minutes to D-Day. Here, Des, that's for you. Let me just give him back the tape. Those are the same bastards that tried to strangle you at the clinic. You want to go outside and ask him? All right, let's just get it over with. You ever fired a gun before? Got another clip? Anything for a lady. Now, Des, take Andy into the bedroom. Make him stay down on the floor. Watch out the back of the house. You see anyone wearing sunglasses? Shoot him. Kill all these lights. You watch out the front. Same deal. If it isn't me, shoot him. Stan? I've never shot a gun before. You just point it at the bad guy and pull the trigger. Then pump this thing and do it again until he stops twitching. Okay. Lock the door. Lock the door. Yes. It's uh, gonna be all right. Yeah, right. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. I be meet TNT.
hurt him. Drop your weapons. It is quite useless now. Mr. Wilson, you've been most uncooperative. Please let him go. He's, he's got me. I'm afraid we need you all, Mr. Wilson. And I must have that tape. But the tape? Kill them. Something. Come on, Ebola. Come on, boy. Next time, I name the pets. Yes. I am never moving again. Neither am I. I guess it means you're stuck with me, huh? Mm -hmm. Bob, Des, I want you to meet the Wishnicks, Christy and Steve. This is Bob and Des Marcel. I think you have a lot in common. Hi. Come on in. It's nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Stan? 